Hey there, everyone. This is Rao Cow playing. There we go. Playing uh, TSRPR by FPI. And uh, let's just go ahead. Last time we finished World 1, so we're going to start World 2. Monty Monuments, a mo monument for moles for some reason. Not too sure why someone would want to build that, but there you go. Hold much moles, and there's these fellas who worship moles, I guess, by sliding on their tummy, just like moles in real life. And you can see it's all this nice structured pyramid thing with cacti on, because cacti. There's nothing that grows on rock quite like a, rai, a, a rabbi. Rabbis, they, they grow out of rock, so if there's any Jew people around, no. Don't be ashamed of your mineral state of being. I think that's pretty awesome. If I could be made of rock, uh, I think I would at least give it a try. Even though if I'm made of rock, I don't think I can actually try it. You're, you either are or you're not. Stop being confusing, Raokal. It's unbecoming of a young lady. So there's some, there's some clouds there. That's awesome. Clouds. If it weren't for Cloud, Final Fantasy VII would star another guy. Maybe he'd be called Sunshine or Frank Further, and I think that would be pretty neat. Frank Further, by the way, is probably the greatest porn star name ever. Just, just putting that out there if any of you have any uh, future in that department, you know, just, just, just keep an eye open for things which will let your eyes be open, like pinch claws or lobsters. Lobsters, they're pretty nice for opening eyes. I mean, just kind of ask them, you know, maybe tickle their underbelly a little bit. Play around with death. Maybe a lollipop or Simon Says, you know, and death would like, I can beat you at lollipop. Lolli Lollipop's a horrible game and action 52 so so don't play that please we are running on some slanted roof which are kind of wrecked to pieces i am bouncing out for no reason well whoa freaking lord pokey they work like caramels mysteriously oh freaking mole freaking mole freaking mole yeah so this is the greatest monument mankind i'm not too sure why it's inhabited by moles though i'm feeling a sneeze coming by Today, freaking lord! Whoa! That was a close call. Where's the last dragon coin? Last dragon coin. Where are you, my friend? You're, you're not up there. Well, I don't know. Oh, I don't know where you are. Knowledge is something that evades me for the moment. Let's sneeze. Or fine, blow your nose, whatever. Which, whichever word is the one I was looking for. Now we're gonna go and do the other route. Chipmunk time. Yeah, because it's somewhere in the middle, so we're gonna have to go again, again, and again, and again, continuously, five times in a row, for no other reason than the great Cherokee race of 55, 55 being a year in this case, and not necessarily merely a word. Well, words are technically, no, years are often words, but the other way around, not as often much so. Ish. Jolly Roger is the name of a boat. If you blow a whistle, it won't probably really not do all that much. Boats don't typically respond to whistles like dogs, which is why whistles are not yet named. As, wait, no, that's, oh, whatever. I'm saying things just to be different. Freaking Lord, that never happens. That was a demo. See what happens, what happens if you trust a weatherman too much. You're going to get so freaking boulevard. You're, you're Your mind will just get, whoa, what is this? This is where the key is. It's down in the bayou, also known as an apartment center for moles. And uh, sometimes it gets pink and it blows up and you need a shotgun to destroy the face of someone's off. Freaking offs always having faces like they were some sort of democratic force. Ha, I say. Totally forgot where I was going with that, but that's okay. And now we're going down here. Hey there, mole, how's it going? Well, not that you mind. And there's a key, and it leads us to a secret place, as I like to call. It's a slightly kind of shortcut-ish. Whatever, now we're moving on to here. Goomba Playground. It's a playground for Goombas. And uh, as you can see, it's very nice, very floral, and there's a stupid horse. It's like, wow. Well, this is a playground for Goomba, so might as well ruin their fun by eating them alive. Uh-uh. <laughs> Way to go there, jerk face. Oh, whatever, we don't like him. Oh no, here is where you need a switch to have some sort of... Whoa, that guy's just throwing out hammers like they're coming out of style, because they are. I mean, who cares about hammers anyway? Nowadays, it's all about the monkey wrench, because every time someone's like, Oh boy, I'm gonna be random, they always put monkey in there for some reason. People out there... If you're using a stock word in order to be random, I don't think that it can qualify as random anymore. You know, just... Freaking lord. P 
putting that out there, you know, some some sort of little common sense machine here. All s it's a machine that creates common sense. It's not very, very often used, as you might imagine. Oh, wow. We sure exchanged blows there. That was the most rampaging, most arbitrary, and most vacuous duel ever. Forgot where I was going there, but it's okay. We're flying off. Whoa! That was a goal point. And there's another Yoshi. I guess he was tired of being one with the last of the Mahaikums. I'm not too sure where that's coming from, so we're just eating more kids that are trying to waste their day at the laundromat because actually they think it's a playground, but it's really just a place where their mother come to wash the dishes. Y yeah, it's, you know, they, they're too lazy to actually wash the dishes by themselves, so they go to the laundromat, they figure that it's the same thing. It's a machine with a thingy that spins and something or another gets clean in the end so why not I mean I can understand the logical fallacy behind the thought but sometimes a shag rug is just a rug and wow I guess we're being aerially assaulted here that's pretty awesome it, it, if you've ever dreamt of being in a war path freaking flower field field in the background that's very warlike that's the end music because it's the fun finally end like end end TNT. Why 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 am I just ra ra ragging on? Whereas anyways, as you can see, the circle is big. Do you know what that means? When the circle is big, it means the circle is big, and also means that chipmunk time. Yes, I'm Riley Andrew. We're just rolling the donkey. Yeah, we're gonna see the road over the donkey. It's gonna be hilarious. It's not gonna try to move. It's gonna sound like three tons of cement over him. It's gonna be gonna point and freaking lord. What? There's a. Huh. Oh, what? <laughs> I'm going to go backwards through the word for no reason whatsoever. Wow, there's a pipe here. Let's go in for no reason. What the hell is this? It is a place with green walls and munchers on the bottom, but we're just gonna go over here instead. Hey there, guys. Oh, freaking lord, freaking lord, freaking lord, freaking lord. Getting destroyed for no reason. Whoa! Suddenly there's a whole lot of coins, but there's the exit pipe in, in case you thought that pipe was for another purpose or something. I don't know. I don't know your kind. And there be the switch. Yes, this was the Green Switch Palace, cleverly hidden in the bowels of the catacombs where generation and generation of mutant tomato and mushroom AMGs were combined. I don't know where I'm going with that. Let's go ahead and do cave exploration. Um, yes. Whoa, there's a big old giant moving thing, which I forgot. It's a conveyor belt. There we go. I think in the original game it was actually a floating giant bone. I guess a conveyor belt makes more sense considering Mario's like, Whoa, I'm gonna fall in the lava. Falling in the lava like a dog. Yeah, dogs they always fall in lava. That's why if you're living near a volcano, it, it might be best not to invest in a dog, you know, just to avoid unnecessary tears and sadness. I, I, it, it sucks to be sad, just a little, little hint there in case you were confused. There's a freaking lord, that never happened, that was show the dangers of inertia. Inertia, it doesn't like you, it wants it dead all that time. I think it's this pipe, it's a pipe. There's a pipe somewhere we can enter and it'll lead us to nasty eating habits. There we go, it is the pipe we end, oh suddenly it's... The super secret, yet very quiet underwater world, where frozen chunks of ice, meh, you know, they just gingerly live in peace with the fish-filled populace. And so we sink and look for a key, because there was a keyhole, but we don't have a key. Where's the key? Key, where are you, key? Where can I find your hide? I will not skin you alive. 
No, I'll be sure to kill you first. I might be cruel, but I am not demented. Is the only thing I can say about that. And there be a thing. Also known as the end of the level. Well, the land of the secret path and opens up a path to this place that will do another time. Checkmark time. Yeah, tonight is the night of checkmarking times. Three levels of three secret paths. It's like the secret world of reference of your choice. Now we get the enemy slowly sticking the lava. That's pretty morbid. And Gano's and morbid equals PG-13 family friendly fun. And uh, yeah, you can rack up score by, you know, constantly tormenting your enemies. That's pretty awesome. Uh, Shigeru Miyamoto always has family friendly cleanliness at hand and at heart. Just kind of wears both at the same place. They're pretty much interchangeable when you're Japanese. Lucky? I was about to say careful, I don't think that's true. There's a trilobite up there in the wall, that's pretty awesome. If you ever, you know, feel like like looking at a at a at a 16-bit rendition of a trilobite fossil, well I hope you've enjoyed the, the moment. Suddenly there's no more lava, instead there's a big pit that makes all the difference in the world. Hey there falling spikes. You are falling like some spikes, because spikes well, uh, you know, they're, they're subject to gravity. That was a demo to see what happens if you get hit by a spike that falls. You get hurt. Uh, you can always count on ROM hacks to, you know, utterly destroy gaming conventions. And then uh, I guess we can go on this little chunk of dirt. Hey there, spike guy. How's it going? Why are you going? No way. Why are you pursuing that spike guy, Mr. Guy? That's not very nice. Pursuing, not suggest. Unless you're a stalker. In that case, that's cool. Here, actually, this is a... Uh, no Goomba Playground was Goomba Plants in the original game. This is part of Goomba Plants also. You just combined it with uh, cave exploration for some reason. I, I don't know why he did that. I, I dig the background though, it's very... Hello, I am made of rock. How's it going? It's not a statement you can make very often, I have to say. Anyways... This is made of... You can sit in the middle. Yeah, it's made out of... Out of an object, that's uh, out of the ver- oh, whatever. I am saying things in case you were confused. And, uh, yeah, this is a- this is a pretty long level, actually, when you look at it. But suddenly we're at the end. Uh, yeah, it's just no- no- no tricky stadium tricks, no trick jumps, no bonus fly jars, just the big ol' end at the end of a field, and the field leads to a haunted house. That's very scary. So next time I'm gonna do one of them two levels, I'm not too sure yet. Saving six times in a row. This was Rao Cal. Join me next time, hopefully tomorrow, when we'll continue on with World 2. Ain't that freaking amazing? I just lost all my hair and it grew back in this question of seconds. Anyways, this was Rao Cal. See you guys. Yeah.